Hey guys, we're here at the Fred Hall Show in Down Mar, and standing next to me is owner operator Mark Gillette. Hey Mark, how you doing? Yeah, good. Thank you. So Mark, we have a couple of trips coming up with you this year. First trip is on May 6th aboard the Commander, one of the boats that you guys own. Um, anything you can tell our people about what we might be doing on that trip? Well, if anything like last year, we'll be fishing either uh, Santa Catalina Island, San Clemente Island, or Santa Barbara Island, fishing yellowtail and rockfish with a chance of white sea bass and halibut. Yellowtail fishing last year was exceptional from late March or late February all the way into June. And uh, that yellowtail fishing was uh, very good on yo-yo iron, 30 to 40 pound test line, and anything of a medium size uh, scrambled egg colors, blue and whites, all white, such, such like that. Yeah, we had phenomenal yellowtail fishing all along that coast there, Long Beach area, and the islands, like you said, Catalina, Clemente. What I like about Clemente is you never know, could be the big yellows, could be the sea bass, but they have monster calicos there too. Yeah, we do, and at times when the current's right, calico fishing can be phenomenal. One of the things you want to do is you want to get up in the dark while the boat stops there and try to fish them in the dark. A lot of times the calicos only bite at night at San Clemente Island. Yeah, and the sea bass seem to like that first light too. Yeah, they do. Sea bass are very keyed in to low tide. So when you want to check your uh, calendars, see when the low tide is on the tide chart, and always make sure you have a bait in the water an hour before, during, and after the low tide period. Yeah, so they're not as picky as the high tide like the calicos and some of the other fish are? They, they really like the low tide? They're very keyed in on low tide. Yep. All right, well, we have other trips coming out with Mark. We'll be on the Commander for another trip. And then on the Eclipse, we have a two-day trip, too. And that's going to be pretty awesome. That two-day trip, I'm guessing tuna, dorado, yellowtail. Would we guess to say wahoo? I don't know. I, you know, you never know. And that's the best part about going offshore tuna fishing. It could be excellent for bluefin. Who knows? Albacore. Um, and like Dan said, wahoo is a possibility. So you never know these years. It's El Nino years. As, it, as the El Nino starts to wane, what exactly we're going to see. All right. So it's going to be a two-day trip on the Eclipse. Great boat to go out on, on the trips we do with them on the two days. It's uh, meals included, and they don't have a cook. They have a chef on the Eclipse, so great food. It's just really, really nice. <laughs> yes, it is, and we hope that uh, you guys come out and join us soon. All right, well, that's today's little video blog here from the Fred Hall Show in Del Mar. Thanks, Mark, for joining us. Thanks for having us on. We look forward to fishing with everybody soon. Yep. And for more information about Mark's boats, where can they go? You can go to commandersportfishing.com or eclipsportfishing.com. And to get all our video blogs, subscribe right here on my YouTube channel. We'll talk to you again really soon.